Hi everyone, Karen in here from Craftily Yours with a design team project for Cut at Home. Today I'm using Cottage Cuts dies and Cut at Home sells uh, quite a few of these and they come in a variety of sizes so I want to show you a few of them today. First they come in a mini size that is perfect for little embellishments on your cards or perhaps on your scrapbook pages. Um, my card today uses the Holly Berry Mini and you can see it's just this little teeny die. It comes with this foam that you put on the die. Um, it's really great for getting your paper out of the die because it just pops right out. The next size up is what they call the petite and the cottage cuts teacups and flowers is the petite size and you can see it's just a little bit larger, actually quite a bit larger. Um, and this is a super intricate and fun die. I'm also using the flying deer die and I just love the detail that's on his antlers. And finally I'm using one of their elite dies which is the stylized owl in one of my cards. And I guess double finally. They also sell border dies and this one is like grass that uh, cut at home sells. In my first card that I'm going to show you I used the flying deer and the Heartfelt Creations Frosty Blanket Collection and I cut the deer out in gold paper and I also used the mini um, die, the Holly Berry Mini to cut out this little embellishment um, that I just love and then added some stars and things from my stash. The next card I made using Graphic 45 paper, the Mother Goose 6x6 Patterns and Solids. And this is super fun. It's got all sorts of crazy, wonderful patterns that I used. And I used the Elite die, the Stylized Owl, to come up with this card, um, which I just love. The owl is so sweet. On this card, um, I cut the owl all in one color of paper and then colored his wings and his feet and his nose and his little tail feathers with uh, Tim Holtz Distress Markers so that I wouldn't have to cut it many times. Um, and then, of course, I added some googly eyes. I used Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Walnut to add a little bit of detail around the feathers and things um, in, his, in his little tummy and I just I just love him. The final card I made today uses oh I'm sorry on this card I also used as you can see the border the, with the grass and I just did two layers of it to add some dimension to the card. The final card I made today uses the Heartfelt Creations um, Sunflower Collection. I love this paper. I almost hate to use it because then it'll be gone and I'll need more. Um, you can see that I cut the Kindness stamp out of the pattern, or I'm sorry, the Kindness sentiment out of the pattern paper. It's just right in the center. I like the way that looks. And one of the borders from the collection added a doily and some lace. And I cut the teacup twice from the sunflower paper, first in the gold from the sunflower paper, and then also in the green from the sunflower paper. And what I did was, after I got the paper out, I cut the gold flowers, fussy cut them, and taped them right onto the green to add a little bit of color on those flowers. And then when I put it on the card, I just go like this and then you can see the gold flowers there. Um, there's another, oh, here's my other piece. It'll go somewhere like this. And it just makes a real fun and simple card to send out. I love these dies. I hope you will give them a try. For more details on my project, including links to all of the products at Cut at Home, go to www.cutathome.com slash blog, and thank you for stopping by today.